Hey guys, it's official. The salt came in. The Instant Ocean Sea Salt, as you can see right there. The lights came in. As you can see, it's not fully filled up yet. But um, what I'm going to do is walk over here and show you guys what's going on. And um, as you can see, I'm using this bucket, this green bucket. Anything more than this is just heavy and might break, might fall. So let's not do that. Let's just use these sort of like half gallon sizes. And that's, that's what I've been doing over the last few days. Really happy finally dragged in, like I said, the last supplies, which is the salt. In this video, we're going to be doing part two of setting up the aquarium. I opened some stuff in the first one. We're going to add some salt when it's ready. Throw in the power head and get some stuff moving in there. Maybe add the sand. I don't know. So it's the next day. It's the next morning. And as you could see, the, the power head is working. It's working a little bit, you know. And the water is... It's not a dead body of water anymore, guys. There is some movement happening in here now. There is some life taking place in this system so yeah i like it it's one power head it's the 50 50 gallon strong power head um 25 to 50 gallon perfect for this tank it's not moving a whole lot of water but if you put your hand even in the corner over here you will definitely feel that it's not a dead sitting pool of water there is like i said some movement happening and um if you were to put your hand like over here, like over here in this area, you could definitely feel it and then it kind of weakens out. But it's really good. It's moving stuff. It's, I'm really happy with what's going on right now. Now, with that being said, um, I added salt yesterday to the aquarium. So uh, I have, a, as you can see, there's about this much room of water. And there's this much for this because I still need to add the sand, which is right here. I have three, three of these carob seas. I have to add the filtration, and eventually I have to add the live rock. I can probably get away with adding about two more inches of water. But I'm kind of, you know, I don't want to risk it too much because I don't want to have to take water out later on. Because, I, like I said, I have to add the salt, the sand, and the, and, the, and the live rock and stuff eventually. So I'm probably going to add the filter a little bit later today. And, um, as well as the sand. I'll show you guys that then. As you can see, the sand is in the tank. The power head is not going to run, not until uh, tomorrow morning in the filter as well, because we want to let the sand settle. That's why it's a little murky right now. I uh, also got the lighting right there, which I'll have to install. But I put all three bags of the carob sea. It's like a solid inch all around, I'd say, from what I barely understood. See you in the next shot. Hello, we added the filter system, so it's going to be sucking water in through that end. On this end, we have the pushing out water. As you can see, it's the suction right there and the pushing out, and uh, the power head is still there. That's the filter right there, and I can hardly see it, but it's a working two-hose system, and um, it's plugged in over there. So the next thing we have to do towards this aquarium that we're starting up is of course add the sand so yeah the sand has been added it's about an inch and a half all the way around I'd say I'm not sure because obviously the water has become murky because of the sand but it's gonna settle overnight and then tomorrow I'll add the filter filter I'll turn the filter on and the power head also I'll turn on tomorrow and we're gonna let that run and cycle with the media the biomix the you know whatever it's called the Seachum matrix through the filter and that's going to run for um, I'd say about 26 hours or 24 hours and then after that we can go ahead and um, start thinking about getting live rock for the aquarium in episode one we unboxed a bunch of stuff toward the aquarium now that that is done we did episode two here and we obviously added water we set up the filter system and the power head we added the sand we added the salt we put the media in there in episode three i assume that well you know like i said the other stuff has to happen but eventually we're gonna add live rock in here and we're gonna set up the lighting system and um and that'll probably be part three